Ugh, my muscles. Why do they feel so achy? <coughs> if you say more research is needed, I'm gonna kick you. Hey there, sickos. I'm Trace. Thanks for watching. It's flu season, everybody. Congratulations. If you didn't get your flu shot this year, or even if you did, here's a warning. You could get sick. No one exactly knows why influenza viruses hit in the colder months. They may survive and circulate better in the cold, dry air. Our immune systems may be weaker thanks to a lack of sunlight in the winter, or perhaps it's simply because thanks to the cold, we spend more time in close quarters and thus spread the virus more easily. But once you got the flu, chances are you're gonna get some of the symptoms. Fever, headaches, sore throat, runny nose, muscle aches, and so on. The thing is, I understand fevers and headaches. Your hypothalamus raises your body temperature to make viruses less comfortable, and the heat causes dilation of vessels in your brain adding pressure, headaches and stuff. I also get runny noses and sore throats. Your nose is pushing mucus like crazy to wash pathogens away from the body, and the back of the throat is a popular spot for infectious colonies, and immune cells rush into the area, inflaming it and causing pain. Makes sense. Fun fact though, 90% of sore throats are caused by viruses, not bacteria, which means only 10% of the time will antibiotics help you. That said, those bacteria are pretty serious, so get it checked out. Basically, most of your symptoms aren't the flu, but the immune response to the flu and muscle and joint pain is exactly the same. If you're thinking, damn, my immune system is causing all this terribleness, you are not alone. We're all right there with you. The immune system is the last line of defense, so it doesn't really do half measures, it just Pow! Gets at it. Anyway, you probably guessed by now, but muscle aches are thanks to the immune system too, but in a much cooler way. Muscle aches are called myalgia, and in studies, as many as 94% of people with the flu get them. The immune system's army contains a variety of cells, but when it comes to these myalgic issues, we really only care about a few. So let's say the immune system corners some virus in your thigh muscle. The antibody narcs show up and bind with the virus, tagging it for attack and keeping it from infecting other cells. Once the virus is tagged, histamine shows up. It's part of our allergic reaction system. The histamine dilates the vessels in the area and gets them ready for the big guns, the macrophages, AKA famous white blood cells. These macrophages get in there and start eating and attacking the tagged pathogens and try to eat any infected cells. The thing is, thanks to studies done on patients with arthritis, we know macrophages tend to leave behind chemicals which aren't super comfortable. Cytokines are a family of proteins secreted by our immune system cells. During influenza attacks, one called interleukin-6 IL-6, it's all over. IL-6 is associated with inflammation and causes soreness. So when the white blood cells show up, they ravage the area and they leave IL-6 in their wake, which your body has to clean up and your muscles and joints get sore. There's not that much you can do about muscle and joint aches, except maybe give them a rest. Some people massage their achy joints and muscles. Some people use warm blankets. Fluids always help, but if you're really concerned, you should ask your doctor, we're not specialists. Here's something to contemplate while you're laying around in your bed hating your own immune system for making you feel bad though. One, evolution may have created the pain, inflammation, and whatnot to keep you from spreading the sickness to others and to force you to rest so your body can fight the infection. That's kind of cool. And two, influenza has been part of the human experience since before history was history. In fact, it was first described by the father of Western medicine, Hippocrates, in 412 BCE. If anything, you're just participating in the grand tapestry of human suffering. Congratulations, now go make a hot tea. After all that, I hope you got your flu shot. You should watch this video to figure out why you should have done it. But if you didn't, tell us about it in the comments. Why didn't you get that shot? Please subscribe for more D News, and thanks for watching. I forgot to get my flu shot.